deadly cyanide insulation foam used at Grenfell Tower discovered at sheltered houses across London. Deadly insulation foam fitted to Grenfell Tower which gives off a highly toxic cyanide gas when burned has been discovered at sheltered houses across London. The product Celatex RS5000 which was withdrawn from sale after the devastating blaze is used at 34 homes in Havering, East London, according to the BBC. It's been claimed burning insulation boards could have given off deadly fumes. It's claimed there could have been enough cyanide gas to kill those inst. These properties includes nine sheltered accommodation units for the elderly. The BBC reports this type of foam contains a polyisocyanurate, per, core, which emits hydrogen cyanide when burned, a gas once used in US executions. Leading fire chemistry expert Professor Richard Hull of the University of Central Lancashire told the BBC, when it burns you have this lethal cocktail of gases. If you have toxic materials that incapacitate them before they escape, that's a very dangerous situation. Bessie Schofield, an elderly resident in one of the properties, described the situation as frightening. The gas could have incapacitated some residents. Government confirms cladding on 75 high-rise buildings and 26 local authorities have failed fire safety tests in wake of Grenfell fire. It is claimed that five victims of the Grenfell Tower fire in June were treated for cyanide poisoning. At least 80 people died in the inferno in West London on June 14. And it emerged more than 600 high-rises have similar cladding. Professor Hull said that while soft furnishings and flats could produce hydrogen cyanide, the foam would have been the first fire effluent they were exposed to. A Havering Council spokesman said that per insulation is widely used within the construction industry and found with most insulation materials. They said the buildings all have secondary escape routes as well as hardwired smoke and heat detection. A spokesperson added, the insulation below the floor is laid under a thick base of concrete, consequently the risk of ignition and spread of flame is mitigated. The council admitted the insulation is also present in the roof. A spokesman for Celatex told the BBC that it has stopped the supply of RS5000 and is full cooperating with the Grenfell investigation. The per-insulation fitted to Grenfell Tower is sandwiched between two sheets of aluminium foil. Boards were fitted behind the cladding that was installed to improve the appearance of the building. The outside wall of the building had 150 mm of per foam, fitted, and once the fire had spread to that every flat would have its own source of per foam, which would have produced enough hydrogen cyanide to kill all the people in that flat, said Professor Hull. Professor Hull co-authored a leading study in 2011 into the fire toxicity of six insulation materials which was published in the Energy and Building Journal. The study established that per was the most toxic. Professor Hull said, it's been an accident waiting to happen and unfortunately we've got to the stage now where the accident has happened and we're standing here saying I told you so. The government says independent review will be carried out into building regulations and fire safety following the Grenfell Tower fire. <laughs>